These two men are giving it all that they got. Oh, very close. Just a two count. The press couldn't believe it. See, the press has been working on the ribs of Jean Riggs. You see him arguing with the referee. This is not a very good idea. Jean Rick is a very dangerous opponent. Even with that injury, you still need to take the, the man seriously. Against the ropes. The scoop. The press delivering his finishing maneuver. The scoop. And just like that, out of nowhere, ladies and gentlemen, the press successful. His first successful title defense. Oh my goodness. As his intern watches on, let's see as the press gets the scoop. Incredible match. Congratulations to the press. And could we be seeing a long withstanding title reign from this young man? Folks, as you know, Barricade has been very impressive this season. But when we asked him if he wanted a shot at the Galactic title, this is what he had to say. Galactic title? Quite frankly, that title is beneath me. That's not what I'm here for. I want to be the main guy of this company. I want to be the Victory Road Wrestling Zimbabwean champion. Galactic title? Give me a break. And since we have an uncontrollable woman... As a Zimbabwean champion, well, let's just say it's going to be very easy for me to get that title. And I'm sure as hell going to make a better champion than that little... Well, I think we all know what she is. Here comes Shut Up Chico. And for whatever reason, he's being flanked by Humane and Dane Generas. Human has the yellow shirt, Dan Generous is all black. Let's find out why these two men are accompanying Shut Up Chico into the ring. Shut up, shut up. I am Shut Up Chico with my associates, Humane and Dan Generous. We have united because there's nobody in this company that's as tough as the three of us combined. We are gonna show everybody what tough people look like. And if there's anybody or any people that disagree, why don't they come out right now and learn just how tough we really are? Shut up, Chico. Wow, ladies and gentlemen, look at this guy. Look at this. Look at the size of this man, Tal Ada. He's gigantic. And Shut Up Chico and his new crew are going to regret calling out somebody. Look at this. Shut Up Chico with those blows onto Tal Ada. And they're not even affecting him. Look at the size of this guy. He's gigantic. The collective is just, they're just amazed by this man. They're watching in awe. I don't think they're going to expect. This guy, he has to be at least nine feet tall. And look how intimidated you men and Dan Generous are. Oh my gosh. I've never in my life seen a man so gigantic. This guy he looks like the kind of guy who's going to dominate. But hey, let's not count out Shut Up Chico. He's a very competitive, competent, competent, competent worker. Excuse me, I'm just so much in awe of Talada's size. And look at Talada throwing Shut Up Chico towards you men and Dan Generous. But I think these men, they want nothing to do with this guy. They just looked at him and said, no way. And look at them. They're turning their back on Shut Up Chico. Shut Up Chico had better not turn around. Being betrayed by his new buddies. Oh my goodness. 
and Talada sends him for the ride, just driving Shut Up Chico into the canvas, and that's it, stick a fork in him. Tal Ada with a very impressive debut. This guy is gigantic. And look at these cowards wanting nothing to do with him. Folks, let's see that again on replay. Let's just see how high Tal Ada had shut up Chico right into the canvas. And this guy is gonna be a force to be reckoned with. Xander, you're responsible for me not being the galactic champion. And on the next episode, I'm going to be responsible for you not able to walk. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Kreplak will get his revenge on the next episode against Zeda. Approaching the ring, Ella Steen. After a disappointing tandem match with Niger Figer, she has decided to take him on in one-on-one -on -one competition and see what kind of mistakes he's been making. And here is the fan favorite, Niger Figer, looking to end his losing streak. Niger Figer. We invested a lot of money into this guy and he's been very disappointing. He's been losing constantly. This is a guy that we thought was going to be a main eventer. But I guess the bright lights have blinded him and caused him to lose all the time. And these two folks, they are dating. Elastin and Niger Figer are. And it's going to be interesting to see them face off. As you see Elastin telling Niger Figer that she's going to give him one free shot. And Niger Figer takes it with a drop kick. Oh my goodness. Could it be a quick victory? Just a two count. Elastin is telling everybody that she's looking to coach Niger Figer in this match to see what kind of mistakes Niger Figer is making to cause him to be on a losing streak. But at this current moment, Niger Figer is doing a very good job. And here he goes with those hip tosses, taunting his opponent trapping them and then slamming them down this is what Niger Figer commonly does and Niger Figer is is moving very well right now I guess the pressure of facing his significant other is causing him to work a lot better Niger Figer and Elastin they've been backstage when they're not fooling around they've been helping each other out to improve their craft and you see Niger Figer showing no mercy on his girlfriend with that bow and arrow stretch realigning the spine of Ella Steen. Don't count out Ella Steen. She's a very tough girl. Look at that drop kick. Nobody gives a better drop kick than Niger Figer. This young man has so much potential. Only acquiring a two count. He has a lot of potential, but I think we set our, our sights from a bit too high. He's going to need a lot more time to, to get himself seasoned. But he's been a very big disappointment. And if we don't see an improvement by the end of the season, he's going to expect a very large pay cut or the loss of his job. Niger Figer has just been in full control of this match right now. Ella Steen hasn't gotten much offense. She should have never let Niger Figer get the first blow. But you see Ella Steen with a little bit of fight, throwing Niger Figer off balance. Man, I've never seen a man beat up his girlfriend quite like that. But this is Victory Road Wrestling. You put your feelings aside. Everybody here wants to be at the top. And there's only one. Elastin luring Niger Figer. That's a very smart move. And as I was saying, there's only one sport to be at the top. We cannot have two people that are number one. 
They can only be one person. That's number one. And Ella Steele is in control now. She lured Niger Figer, seduced him to the outside of the ring. Ella Steele, very tough. There are not a lot of women that can take that kind of beating and get up. And the rope break way too close to the ropes. Had Ella Steele moved Niger Figer before going for the cover, we could have seen her be victorious. Ella Steele going to the top rope. What's she going to do here? An axe handle. Oh my gosh, did you see the the torque in that maneuver? Ella Steen, so much power. And look at her, but torque's just jiggling after that move. These two have a case of jungle fever. And they're acting like jungle animals right now in the ring. A tug of war between these two. Now they're exchanging blows. A punch to the gut and Ella Steen just like that driving a crotch into the face hey, wait a minute save that kind of activity for the bedroom look at that just putting her mouth into the face of Niger Figer smelling that oysterly smell that juicy oyster smell have you ever opened a fresh oyster that's exactly what Niger Figer was sniffing but when you are in love, that aroma is just so sweet. <laughs> Excuse me, folks, but Ella still with that sabiche letting go, wearing down Niger Figer. So it's been a very good match. Ella still has, has done a very good job of switching the momentum. And what's she doing here? A vertical suplex, a superplex by Ella Steen. Affecting both combatants. And Ella Steen, ladies and gentlemen, that's it. No, Niger Figer just kicking out. Ella Steen needed a split second to win that match. But Niger Figer, through instinct alone, getting out. And Ella Steen, she likes to go on the top of the rope here. But Niger Figer, oh my goodness. You gotta go back home with that lady, man. Showing no mercy, Niger Figer desperately wants to win this match, and he himself is going on the top rope. This is very dangerous. But Niger Figer missing, and the tables have turned just like that. I was telling you just how tough Elastine is. She was knocked off the turnbuckle, and yet she has recovered. This is exactly what Ella Steen needs to do going for the cover. But only acquiring a two count. I really think that Niger Figer, when he threw Ella Steen there, he should have put her in the ring and kept working on her. Because waiting on the turnbuckle, it gave her time to recover. And you see Ella Steen with those clotheslines. Ella Steen is wearing those, those, um, those wristbands in commemoration of homosexuality a victory role by Ella Steen I'm very impressed by these two right now they're just a small package by Ella Steen ladies and gentlemen could this be it no just a two count Niger Figer showing an impressive amount of resiliency a hip toss by Ella Steen Against the ropes, Niger Feiger throwing all of his weight onto Ella Steen. A DDT by Niger Feiger. Niger Feiger is starting to get fired up. Could this be it? And I'm shocked that Ella Steen managed to kick out 
the way that her head was just driven into the canvas.